Hey guys, okay, so it is approximately 10 a.m. 29th of March. Um, I'm just gonna, and keep in mind we're at 51 degrees north latitude, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick test. Uh, I'll do the best as safely as I can because I'm gonna climb on the roof as well. But I've got two Delta Maxes connected to our 800 water rays each. And then I've got our Delta Pro connected to a 70 or 1200 water ray. Now I'm gonna use the neighbor's garage as an example. You see all the snow. Got say half to three quarters of an inch. On the garage, I'm not going to video because I'm climbing up a, a ladder with the uh, a leaf blower on my back to take the snow off because I didn't want to wait for the snow to melt. It'll take about an hour and a half to two hours because I think we're still about minus seven or so. But yeah, we're just going to do a test, see how quickly these guys can charge. This one's at 29%, sorry, 30%. These, they're all at 30% right now. That's usually how they arrive. Uh, but either way, so here, I'll pause the video. I'm going to climb up on the roof. I'll take a couple photos. Uh, I'm not going to do a video because it's pretty slippery up there. And then I'll blow that off. We'll come right, I'll come right back down probably five-ish, ten minutes, something like that. And we'll see where we're at. I don't think I'll be able to get all of the snow off, but I'll get most of the snow off. And we'll see this bump up. Uh, we'll see more solar. But I'll take a photo so you can see the wattage going in before, um, like with the amount of snow that's on the roof right now, which is pretty awesome. Okay, and I'll take a before and after photo. But uh, again, doing it as safely as I can. It's pretty slippery up there. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, guys. Again, 64, approximately 64 watts going in on each equal flow Delta Max. And the Delta Pro is 73 watts going in with about half to three quarters of an inch of snow on the solar, our thin film solar that we have up, which is one of our new products, which the goal is, is to offer these to market here within about two months if we have a supply chain. Okay, hopefully we have a supply chain. Okay, I'm going on the roof. Back in a bit. Okay. Uh, about eight or nine minutes. Uh, we were just on the roof. We blew all of the, as much of the snow off as we could. And this is where we're at now. So here are both EcoFlow Delta Maxes. We're going to see how quickly these guys can charge. Keep in mind, there's still snow and water on there and I did post pictures. So here's the first one, 800 water ray producing 532 watts. This guy's both, you know, very similar. Then our 1200 water ray right here with the Delta Pro. Um, now I do have five solar charging stations. We're just running three of them right now, just for space. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea. This is something I've done. Maybe you guys would find value in this. To me, having portable deployable um, power, even these heavy 100 pound Delta Pros kind of really makes sense in today's day and age. But according to this, we're at three hours, four hours, um, until fully charged, and this one five hours. But theoretically, once all that snow melts and the sun gets higher in the sky in elevation, because again, we're just after 10 a.m. And remember, we're at 51 degrees north latitude, guys. So we're already at 632 watts. Yeah, so we should be about three hours and everything's going to be fully charged as as long as the sun stays out how it is like as you can see pretty much a blue sky tiny 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 bit of haze but pretty much a blue sky but you did see the snow that was on the roof it was pretty awesome that we actually had that amount of wattage going in when we had say say about a half inch to three quarters of an inch say about that much snow right on the um on the uh our thin film solar that we're, we're running up there but yeah, no, we'll see this go up. They're already starting to creep up more. So we're at 4, 437, 436, 6, yeah, 640. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be up there. We'll see it all creep up here. And I'll come back out in an hour or so. And we'll see where the solar's at. And by then, within an hour. Uh, oh, and by the way, these are already at 32%, just in that time frame. They're at 30% before. And we're at 31% with the Delta Pro, 32 with the Delta Max where it's at. Yeah, we'll do, uh, I'll come back out in about an hour or so, and we're going to see the progress with three solar charging stations out of the five that we have, powering two Delta Max and a Delta Pro simultaneously at 51 degrees north latitude, March 29th uh, in Canada, and see how quickly these are going to charge. And by the way, these thin film solar that our goal is to be able to offer as long as we got a supply chain, 
I got to verify we're either at, I believe, 24.3 or 23.5% efficiency rating. So we're literally the highest on the market with them. And we are using some power Gen 3 solar cells with these. Yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, I'll pop back in a little bit. We'll see where we're at. But theoretically, we should be fully charged within, see, around three hours, somewhere in there, for all three power stations, which is pretty darn good. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Okay, it is just after 11 a.m., so about an hour after we started. Let's see where we're at. So we got the two Delta Maxes right here on the right, the Delta Pro. Start at the bottom, work our way up. So first Delta Max, uh, about just under 530 watts going in. We're at 50%, two hours left. Second Delta Max, about the same amount of wattage going in approximately at 50%, two hours left. Delta Pro... Uh, just under seven, yeah, just under 770 watts going in, um, and we've got approximately we're at 46 percent, three hours left. So again, keep in mind, guys, we're at 51 degrees. There, do that. 51 degrees north latitude. It is March 29th, so the sun's still low on the horizon for us. We do have a relatively really sunny day, which is good, but for us to get this type of readings. At 11 a.m. and we just had the time zone change or time changed an hour and a head. So what was it? Three weeks ago we were actually 10 a.m. at this time of day. So we're doing really, really well. Based on this, and we'll know here in the next little bit, theoretically we could charge off of these three char charging stations. Each of them could do throughout the day theoretically, but we'll know. Two Delta Maxes each, so that's four in total, and two Delta Pros off of these and that's a total of the Delta Pro has a 1200 watt array that we're using and each Delta Max has an 800 watt array. Now keep in mind guys too, a lot of people don't realize this. You can over wattage but you can't over voltage. So being our solar is so efficient, we're actually higher voltage than what's mostly on the market. That's why we're limited to 1200 watts with the Delta Pro here. But we're very high voltage which means we're going to work better than most in low light conditions and even in bright light conditions because of that. So either way, I will come back again in about another hour and we're gonna see where we're at, but we've gone up a lot. These guys have gone up 20% in an hour and we've gone up 17% uh, with a Delta Pro. So that's, that's really good. But I do think in another hour to two, these guys will probably be done in two hours, um, but the Delta Pro, yeah, it's gonna be between two and three hours. It should be done, okay. We will come back in a little bit and see where we're at, closer to noon. Okay, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we pretty much noon, so we're about two hours into this. So this is where we're at, both Delta Maxes, uh, the Delta Pro. Uh, first, Delta Max at the bottom, pretty much 600 watts going in, we're at 72%. Uh, the second one, just under 600 watts going in, 72%. Each have an hour left. Then the Delta, and keep in mind, these are on 800 watt solar arrays. And yeah, noon, so the sun's still not the highest in the horizon. And then we have the Delta Pro, we are at 65%. Um, just over 860 watts going in, so that's good. Now, to put it in perspective, in two hours, both Delta Maxes have gone up from 30% to 72%. So they've both gone up 42% in just under two hours. And you can see now this guy's just over 600 watts. So every, every few minutes we're going up in wattage because the sun's getting higher on the horizon, which is good. And then the Delta Pro, which is a much larger battery pack, it's 3,600 watt hours compared to these guys are 2,016 watt hours a piece. Um, you are now at, and that's, yeah, we're just under, that's crept up a little bit. We're just under 870 watts now but it went from 30 to 65%. So it went up 35% in two hours, and it's only gonna increase quickly from here, as long as we keep having, for the most part, a blue sky with a tiny bit of haze. But yeah, that's that's where we're at now. I'll pop back in in, in, in again in, in an hour. These guys are at 73. And there's a chance the Delta Maxes will be topped up by then, and we'll see where the Delta Pro's at. So it should be, uh, 75 maybe 80 percent as a guess yeah we'll see okay uh i will be back in a bit and we'll see where these guys are at it's kind of cool gotta say this um being able to charge 
just showing three, but we have the ability to charge five portable solar generators or portable battery packs simultaneously in one day. And based on what we're seeing, we might be able to do each of those solar charging stations times two. So that's 10 solar generators in one day off of our 4200 watt array. So yeah, but today's kind of a little bit of a test. Definitely the, the closer we get to the longest day of the year, that's going to be extremely easy to do. Extremely easy to do. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're just after 1 o'clock right now. I didn't see where they stopped, but uh, both Delta Maxes are fully charged. Uh, they're both at 100%, so I'm just going to unplug them. I don't know how long ago that happened, but that was less than three hours to, to power those up. And the Delta Pro, 48 minutes remaining, 80%, 86%, and 930-ish watts going in right now. And we got a little bit of cloud cover coming in, but this should definitely be charged in about an hour. Unless we get lots of clouds coming in. But yeah, just to give you guys perspective, uh, we started at 10 a.m., Remember, we're at 51 degrees north latitude, so the sun's very low on the horizon for us still this time of year. But, uh, wow, that's awesome. That basically means I can definitely charge two more Delta Maxes this time of year. So that's a total of four from those two solar arrays. And there's a good chance I could do a Delta Pro with an expansion battery or two Delta Pros. So that's off of the three specific solar arrays for that. We should be able to do that. But, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I will check back in approximately an hour because I just got to drop off product at UPS for orders going out the door. Okay, we'll check in a bit. That's cool. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'm a little bit late getting back just after 2 o'clock. But uh, so we didn't see exactly where it stopped. So it's probably three and a half, three quarter hours to charge uh, the Delta Pro from zero, sorry, not zero, 30 to 100% with our 1200 watt array. And we saw just under 900 watts going on in at the max. Right now we're literally at the peak of the day where the sun's at its highest. Uh, it's usually about, well, I guess a little bit before this, but either way, the cool thing is we still have two, another four plus hours of good sunlight for charging from solar where we are for this time of year. So like I said, we could easily charge, let's to turn this guy off. We could easily charge two more Delta Maxes, each from our, they each have an 800 watt solar array. So we're using three solar arrays, a 1200 watt and two 800 watts. And then I have others to, uh, for two more charging stations, but just from these three charging stations, powering stations, we could do in one day, uh, I guess it would be 7,200 watt hours of Delta Pro batteries. And then it would be 4,032 times two. So what is that? 8,042 watt hours of charging. So wow, that's a lot of battery capacity we could charge or we could, um, we could fully power up from these three uh, charging stations that we have. And we have two more that we're using as well too. So yeah, so if, if things go well, guys, and we still have a supply chain here in the summer, I will be offering the solar that I showed the pictures of, um, where it was first covered in snow, and then I, I used the leaf blower to blow it all off. Um, that's what we're using to charge these. And I'm planning on putting, I'm just deciding, probably it's either going to be 800 or 1,200 watts of that on our trailer. And um, then we'll be charging some, some lithium battery packs, but also have... Uh, uh, basically separate wiring if we want to power our um, any of these uh, specific portable battery packs or solar generators as well. But yeah, guys, check it, check out our website, um, offgridtrek.com, offgridtrek.com. I'll definitely have some information there for you. I will make sure as well to have uh, my contact information. We do have stock. These are available to ship from the U.S. warehouse. I know right now we're out of Delta Pro expansion batteries. They're supposed to arrive, uh, I believe it's April 6th. And then in Canada, for Canadian customers, we have mostly the Delta Maxes in stock. The so Delta Pros will be back in stock, I believe, around the same time frame. But yeah, any questions, let me know. My name's Renny. I'm the owner. Uh, yeah, just cool doing tests like this, just to see how quickly we can charge from solar. Because at the end of the day, 
if we need to rely on this, um, we need to know in advance that we can. And that's kind of why I'm doing these testing. And hopefully you guys will find value on this. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Uh, I'll post this uh, to YouTube uh, probably in the next couple days. Okay, talk to you in a bit, guys. Bye then.